All right, folks, welcome to the fourth and final episode of this series. If you've been following along, we've dialed in the tube preamplifier. We've daisy chained it into the compressor. The compressor now goes into the interface, channel eight. And uh, we've got, now we've got it set up here with a, with a U87. And uh, that's what you're hearing right now, folks. So I've, I've set the gain input for this microphone uh, I've still just kept the impedance right up and down. I've messed with this a little left, a little right, and it's uh, right up the middle seems to be a sweet spot of this U87 where it's still open and airy, but uh, it doesn't close it off too much. Um, I've got the low cut at 70 hertz. This, this guitar is a dreadnought, it's kind of a cannon. Uh, the tilt EQ just a little bit more on the more high end side try to give some of this uh, cause it senses a, a big body um, Breed loves concerto model. So uh, it's got plenty of low end. So I want to give it a little bit of sparkle Then on the voice uh, I've got it. Uh, I've got it right up the middle split between solid state and tube and then this daisy chains into the compressor I've got the threshold with a heavy shrum, just kissing three to five dB of gain reduction uh, on a three to one ratio. Uh, pretty fast attack, pretty slow release. And on the blend knob here, which is one of my favorite settings here, it's like your parallel compression. All the way to the right is the full compression signal. Then you can back it off a little bit just to let some of the dry signal through um, to really have that kind of natural, natural sound to it. Um, so follow along, I'm going to play a little snippet here, and then I'm going to track an acoustic pass and then come back on a separate uh, on a separate track and do a vocal take. And uh, just kind of let you guys hear these settings, how I have them dialed in here. Remember, most important thing from the last three video, or the first three video of this little four part series, is trust your ears. Don't be afraid to tweak knobs. Don't get too attached to a guideline or to a... Uh, to an instruction manual. Outboard gear is meant to be tweaked. Tweak it, if it sounds good, roll with it. If it doesn't, keep tweaking. Find your settings, find your signal chain, and just have fun with it, folks. Um, all right, let's do a little pass here. All right, let's lay let's layer over a vocal track here. I never thought something the size of the poppy seed would make a grown man cry. Or bring him to his knees I left a space inside my heart In case you came along Now I can see you on that screen Looks like you're reaching for the sun Your mama's scared Your daddy smiles
Thank you all so much for tuning in to this four part series, folks. Again, this is the Solo MPA and the Solo VLA, the microphone tube amplifier and partner in crime uh, compressor. We have them daisy chained together. And um, if you're looking to dip your feet into the outboard gear world, this is a, a great one-two punch to, to really give an analog way of recording um, a shot. It's, it's it, what I love about it these days is the commitment to the sound and the moment. You trust your ears on the front end, you get a signal chain, you get a sound that you like, and you commit to it. You can always tweak stuff on the back end more. You can do a little lighter settings here on the front end, just stuff to catch the peaks and kind of treat the sound on the way in, do a little bit more treatment on the end, or get it dialed in exactly like you like it, commit to it, and that's the take. And then it's more about the performance. I'll see you guys down the road. And uh, thank you all for listening. Cheers, folks.